Hello. In this example, we will see how we work with the Z table to find probabilities. So when we are standardizing a normal um, distribution to the standard normal distribution curve, we will be able to work with the Z tables to help us and find probabilities. We have two tables. One table shows us the area under the curve to the left-hand side. We call it the positive number table. And the second table is with the negative numbers of the Z value. And that will show us also the left-hand side area under the curve, but to the left-hand side of the standard normal distribution curve. So let's start with example number one. What is the probability that Z is less than 1.56? So that will be basically to look and find the gray area in under the curve. Another example that we'll explore is to find what is the probability that Z is greater than 1.56, which is to explore and find what is the gray area to the right under the curve. So let's start with the first one. When we are going to use the Z um, table, we are going to use the positive number table in this scenario because we've been given the area under the curve to the left under a positive number. So the probability that Z is less than 1.56 will be determined by going to the positive table, looking at the first decimal um, on the rows. So here it is, 1.5. We can see it's the number to the first decimal. And then looking at the second decimals in the column. So here is our second decimals. The intersection between these two numbers will result with the probability under the curve. In this situation, it's 0 0.9406 or 94.06%. Let's try and do and find the probability of Z greater than 1.56, the gray area to the right. So we know that Z less than 1.56, the probability for that is 94.06%. We also know that the probability under the whole curve is equal to one. So we can use the rule that the complement event uh, is all equal to one. So we can subtract from one the probability that Z is less than, less than 1.56. So in this scenario, to find the gray area under the curve, you can calculate one, subtracting 0 0.9406, and you will get that the gray area under the curve is 0 0.0594, basically 5.94%. So this is option number one. Another option to find this gray area under the curve is to look at the symmetry um, characteristics that we have with the standard normal distribution and look at the other side of other tail of the distribution. And instead of looking at the greater than 1.56 positive, Let's look at the negative 1.56. So these two areas are exactly the same areas under the curve. So we can calculate the probability of Z less than negative 1.56. This will be determined directly by the negative numbers uh, Z table. So that will save us the time to do any calculation. We'll go to the negative table. And again, searching the first decimals on the row. So here it is, negative 1.5. And the second decimals, we're looking at the columns. And the intersection between them will give us the probability under the curve. And in this case, we can see that the probability is 5.94%. Um, so here is the answer for example number one. Um, both probabilities are illustrated here. Let's see another example. What is the probability that Z is greater than negative 0.74? Looking at the gray area to the right. So there is no Z table that gives us the right-hand side area under the curve. 
So we can use one minus and find the area, the white area, and then do one minus that area to find the gray area. Or we can use the much faster technique, the symmetry, and find the probability that z is less than the positive 0.74. So let's look and see. These two areas are exactly the same. So you can use that. Go to the table of the positive numbers. The first decimal number is 0.7, and the second decimal is 4. So the intersection between the two will give us the probability of 0.7704. So basically we have 77.04% the area, um, the gray area to the right. Let's explore another example. What is the probability that Z is between negative 0.88 and 1.62? So this scenario, we can find this area between the two numbers by finding first the area under the curve that is below 1.62 and will look like this. And from that probability, subtract the area that is below negative 0.88, which represented by the gray area to the left here. You already know how to find the values in the tables. So one time you'll go to the positive table and find Z less than 162. And one time you'll go and search for Z less than negative 0.88. If you find these two numbers, you subtract the smallest from the largest and you'll find the difference. The difference is 75.8%. So that summarizes our presentation of how to use the Z table to find probabilities.